Hey, hey, today is Monday, November the 14th, and it's great to see you again. What does God and Google have in common? God and Google. We'll get to that in a second, but can you remember being a kid and getting into an argument with a buddy of yours, and it quickly devolves into this this one-upmanship type of back and forth between you and your buddy. And, you know, it may have started off as simple as a dare. You know, I might have said to my friend when I was a kid, I dare you to do something. And my friend didn't want to do it, so he comes right back at me, and he says, no, I double-dog dare you. And how do you beat a double-dog dare? Well, you triple dog dare them. And you know, this this childish game back and forth quickly turns into which one of the two kids knows the higher number. You know, I, I dare you times 10. I dare you times 100. I dare you times 1,000. Times a million. And the really smart kids when they're little would be able to, to dare you times a billion. Now, if only I knew then what I know now, I would have known the greatest number that we have in existence, at least commonly agreed upon, is greater than a million. It's greater than a billion. Do you know what it is? What it's called? The, the biggest number that we, we, we can actually think about, contemplate, the, the biggest number um, that mathematicians will, will, will acknowledge is the, the greatest number of all. Do you know what it is? It's called a Googleplex. Yes, that's right, a Googleplex. And it's a number so big, so massive, it just staggers the, the mind. You know, there's a one, and then there's just almost a countless number of zeros behind it. And believe it or not, Google, the search engine, gets its name from this massively large number, Googleplex. And the whole idea was Google wanted to be the search engine that had more search results than any other engine out there. It was the biggest, the greatest search engine out there. However, there is one number that can top Googleplex, the, the biggest number out there. There's something that can top it, infinity. You know, if you say, I, I dare you times infinity, there's no topping that. Even if someone would come back and say, I dare you times infinity times one, you know, infinity always trumps because there's, there's no end to it. It just keeps going and going and going. So back to this God and Google. What do they have in common? Well, when people think about God, it's natural for us to wonder, to contemplate, you know, where did God come from? And was God created? And, you know, was there a, a time that God did not exist? Genesis 1.1 tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth which leads most people to wonder, well, what happened before then? What happened before the beginning? What happens before God starts creating the universe, creating life, creating you, creating me? You know, was there there's something that created God himself? Or was there a time that God just came to be? And, you know, the Bible makes it clear to us that, that God is, he's infinite. There is no beginning, there is no end. As Revelation teaches us, he's the Alpha and the Omega. There has never been a time that, that there, God has not existed, and there will never be a time that God will cease to exist. God is mighty, God is eternal, God is grand. And, and here's the beautiful part about this. You know, Google and God, um, Googleplex, there's an end to it. It's, it's huge and it's, it's mind-boggling just how big of a number this is, but there is, there's an end to it. You get to the point where it stops. The Bible makes you a promise. The Bible makes you a promise that when you die and if you're a follower of Christ, follower of Christ, that 
God has eternal life awaiting for you. Heaven is awaiting for you, and there's no end to this. It's eternal. It's infinite as we will soak in God's eternal joy. We'll soak in the endless peacefulness. We'll soak in the eternal um, reward that, that God so deeply wants to um, lavish upon us. Let us rejoice in that, that God is eternal, heaven is eternal, and one day uh, we'll rejoice in God's kingdom eternally, infinitely along with him. Amen.